back to Copenhagen Suborbitals. Um, it's it's Easter here in the rocket shop, so we are we're pretty busy. Um, I have something here which is hardly recognizable, but this is the uh, BPM 5 engine uh, we have been been uh, following so far. Inside here is actually the uh, solder, soldered inner liner that we started out with a long time ago. Now, today it looks way more like a rocket engine and, and we've actually made pretty good progress here. Um, this is still our very first BPM5 engine, so we have a lot of things we are, we are learning in the process of assembling it. So uh, it's, it's, it's still taking a little bit longer time than, than necessary and, and the results are, needs a little more adjustment. But we're getting to a rocket engine when we're done. Um, we've been quite busy here. Um, this uh, flange, which will uh, carry the injector, the filters and the entire, entire lock stone, has already been welded in place, both the inner liner and the outer liner, everything is welded in place here. Now, um, the outer liner was cut up in four pieces, um, two cylindrical half parts and two bell-shaped half parts. What I did, first of all, was weld together to the two cylindrical parts. It was, I could just pry open this last uh, crack here and it would easily slide on and off the uh, copper spaces. Now um, due to a few uh, production mishaps we have a little bit more of a crack down here in the bell shape. Um, I simply cut out a, a few pieces of material that I will insert which will largely just close this crack up and then I'll just weld it on the outside. Now the entire fuel manifold has also been, been welded in place. I still need to trim the edges down here so that we can make a nice uh, sharp edge to, uh, to, to release the, uh, the supersonic flow out of the engine. The fuel uh, pipe, or the beginning of it, is already in place here as well. And this is where we'll put approximately two liters of alcohol fluid per second. So, all that's left to do here, really, <coughs> is to close up this long stem here. And I already have a piece of material which I'll simply just stick here on the outside and then just uh, weld it in place on either side. Now, it's a little bit, so to say, um, risky to do a welding of this long stem uh, without additional material. I could try to do that. But uh, in order to, to, for this uh, outer liner to be able to cope with the fuel pressure we're putting into it, at some point probably 25 bar, I need to be sure that I, uh, that I get a, a welding which uh, goes all the way through the material. Now that carries a risk that I actually heat it too much and then I'll have uh, bubbles and blisters and protrusions on the inside where we right now have this, uh, this rather smooth two millimeter thick channel which carries all the fuel, fuel from the fuel manifold down here below all the way up to the injector and cools the entire engine on the way. Now if I just weld it and uh, weld it a little too much then we will simply have some disruptions uh, along the fuel flow along this line which could mean that we will get a uh, a few hot spots down here and we don't want that for our first try. So progress on the BPM5 is progressing fast. Uh, we are learning a lot as we go along. This is a brand new engine design and naturally we have already found a number of ways to refine and improve it. Uh, so we can just make it much easier to produce. So um, well we are we're learning a lot here and, and making a lot of uh, first experiences and we're getting a hopefully fully functional BPM-5 rocket engine as a bonus.